So just for a, a concrete example, uh, Dwight Eisenhower was president of the United States in the 1950s and a great general before. And when he was young, he realized he had a terrible problem with his temper. And it just seemed like a, a horror to him that he constantly lost his temper and got angry at people. And so he spent his life internally fighting against this temper of his. And he had little tricks, like he would list all the people he hated and write their names on pieces of paper and rip them up as a way to get rid of his temper. And slowly over a lifetime, he identified his core sin, anger. He worked on it every day. And by the time he was a president, people thought he was just a very calm, cheerful guy. But that was something he constructed. And so there are ways to improve your character by the slow accumulation of good habits. And if you do the right behavior, then the right person gets formed out of that. And the problem is our, our career, we succeed in our career by putting ourselves forward, by being egotistical, by being super self-confident, but we do the inner work by being humble, uh, by recognizing what our core sin is. Um, and humility is radical self-awareness from a position of other centeredness. It's the ability to stand outside yourself and really look in and see this is really my weakness. And one is sort of super out and the other is super in. And it's, it's frankly hard to do both at the same time. And so, and the, the outward gets instant reward, the inner gets distant reward. And so we all have a tendency to go with the outer. And, and so we, I, you invent strategies to, to work on the inner. And some people journal, some people have friendships and clarity groups where they talk to each other. I tend to do it just by reading about people I really admire and thinking, oh, I'd really like to be like them. <laughs> and, and, and so to me, it's, it's exemplars, it's heroes who really lift my spirit up.